In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through step by step in creating a little girl sitting on a pier fishing. And if you have no drawing skills, no worries. The way I'm going to show you, you're going to be able to do it one stroke at a time. If you want to see and follow along, keep on watching. So for this painting, I'm actually going to create this painting as we speak. I am not going by anything except what's in my head. So I'm going to create a background. And since this is going to be a little girl sitting on a pier, I'm going to decide where I want that to be, where I want the water to be, and all of that. So I'm basically going to take my flat wash brush and I'm going to kind of use this to pick up some paint. I'm going to get a little bit of this darker turquoise and just use that to kind of draw with. I think I'm going to have a water line right about here because I'm thinking my little girl is going to be sitting here and we're not going to have to worry about doing her face or any of that. We're just going to be getting her backside. So I'm going to start with that. And I'm going to rinse my brush off and I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown now and just kind of outline where my pier is going to be. Maybe, maybe I'm going to bring it down a little bit lower than that. And I'm just going to put a line there. And I think my pier is going to come off to the sides like this and like this. And while I'm out of here, I'm going to pick up a little bit of black and I'm just going to use the very end of my brush and put some black lines in. Here, make this a little bit darker. Now, while that's drying, I'm going to rinse my brush off. And looking at this now, I have to figure out here do I want the waterline to come uh, be the whole thing or come back? I th I'm thinking maybe. I'm going to have the waterline be up a little bit more, maybe up here. Now that I've determined that, I'm going to just come in, still using the end of my brush, and just kind of put some strokes in with that color. And no worries if I go up too high like I did there. I can just rinse my brush off and come in and take some of that away. And blend that out. And I'll put a few more of that color in. And not forgetting to come along the sides here of where my pier is going to be. Now I'm going to pick up some of this lighter Caribbean blue. And I'm going to put some pops of that in here. right up to the edge. Now you can see here I'm using 
the brush flat like this, and I'm also using it like this. And I'll look and see if I want to put any little more darker pops with the darker turquoise in here. And I think I'm going to pick up some of this green. Just throw some of that in there. And I rinsed my brush off now, and I'm just going to barely touch the canvas and just soften this. Um, sky color in here but I also want to decide do I want something over here uh, maybe I'll have a little bit of a land mass over there so maybe I'll pick up a little bit of brown and I'm going to add a little touch of white to it maybe I'll just come in I'll add a little touch of purple to that as well. And we'll just have it be kind of faint in the intensity of its color since we're trying to elude that it is far away. And I will just smooth this out again. Now I think I want to get some light blue on my palette. I'm just going to use my flat brush and come in and get some of this now I'm making sure as I go that I'm keeping my mixture with water and paint at the right place so that it is nice and smooth and it glides across the canvas and I don't have little white pops of canvas coming through. Now I'm going to pick up a little white with my um, light blue and just come in here grabbing some white and getting some blue. just want a little hint of that blue down here. I want it definitely to be lighter at the bottom. Notice I'm crisscrossing my brush. Blending that in nicely. I'm going to take a look here, make sure this is smoothed out nicely. Now, after looking at this, I'm thinking, you know, maybe we need a little bit more of a um, deeper blue especially up where it's closer to us. So I'm gonna get some of this bright blue with a touch 
and I mean a touch, I just touched my brush to this black. And I'm gonna come in here and just put some of this And I'm not worrying about coming into the pier because I'm going to be painting that. And maybe right in here. And maybe a little touch more black in here. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna pick up some brown and I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna go right over my black marks I made. fill all of this in with this brown and I'm not so much worried if it's different intensities in different places it'll actually make it more interesting if it's not all completely even if you absolutely don't like that look then you can just get it the way that you like it And I'm making sure that I'm going in one swoop all the way over with one side of the brush, turning my brush and getting the other side. We'll have one more step with this um, pier after this dries. Almost there. And I think that that will be good for now. Just even this edge out here. And I'm going to rinse this brush off. The fun part is going to be designing the little girl. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk you through every step in creating her. I'm going to just pick up a little bit of this black with my round brush. And I'm rolling my round brush in the paint because it's going to help me keep that nice point. And I'm going to figure out where she's going to be. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to start with a, with a U, just like this. That is her back side. And I'm going to come up here, come around and down and around. Kind of like the letter C with a flatter edge. And we'll do the same thing 
over here, like a backwards letter C. Now my little girl needs a neck, so I'm going to come right here and I'm going to connect that. I'm going to come over here and connect that. Kind of like parentheses, but backwards, back to back with each other. Now my little girl needs a head. So to start with creating her head, I'm just going to come up and do a circle like so. And now we need to put a collar on her shirt. So I'm going to do a smiley face right there. Now before I get into her hair color or anything like that, or what her hair is going to do, um, if you wanted to make this a little boy, you could just leave the hair like this and just put little strokes down. I'm going to come here and make sure that in here where there would be a shadow, I put just a little bit more black right there and a little bit more black right here under her bum. I can also at this point take my U and come in a little bit right here on each side. If I take my flat brush that's been cleaned, I can come in and take some of that off to create a little bit of a curve. right in here. So now she's going to come out like this. So I'm going to get my brown brush again and just come in now. And I don't think I want that so, so maybe I'll shadow that more in right in there. I'm thinking she's got a shirt on. Her shirt's going to come maybe to here. So I'm going to put that line in. And I'll pick up a little bit more turquoise now and just come in here touch this little bits up right here. So I'm going to take some blue and black and just fill this lower section in. A little bit more blue. I can let that dry a little bit. And I can also put a little bit of shadowing just right here. And I think I'm going to make the top purple and orange. So I'm going to pick up some purple and orange. I'm just going to come in here figure out how much purple, how much orange I like. Making maybe a little bit more purple. And I'll come right over that shadow area around the collar. Now I can pick up my Filbert's brush 
get that wet. I'm gonna come in with much more purple now right here. let that dry and come back and visit that back again in a few minutes. Now let me figure out which way her fishing pole is going to be. I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit of black, but I'm really going to make sure it's watered down. And I'm going to give the illusion that there is a fishing rod coming up like this. with a string coming down like this. It's kind of like the letter A without the center line. And if you drew it all the way, it would be here. So you're basically gonna do like you're doing the letter A. And right at the bottom here, I'm gonna pick up a little touch of white and I'll just come in and create a little ripple up there. Now if I want my little girl to have pigtails, I think I'm going to put part down the middle of her back, come up here like this. So basically you have a frown and a frown. I'm going to get a little bit of black, white, and brown on my brush. Black, white, and brown, and kind of mix it on the side here. And just figure out where these little ponytails are going to be. down a little bit more. Let me move this over. Now I want to pick up a little black so I can get some of the darker areas a little bit of shadowing effect. So right along there and right in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of black. Now I'll pick up some brown and white and just do little strokes towards the line that I put down the center. and I can come into that black I just added and allow some of that to pull. And I will come to the ends of her hair with a little bit of white and brown. Just do some little strokes. Now if I wanted to, I could um, do some more things in here. I can pick up a little bit more black and blue. 
just come along the bottom part of this and darken a little bit and maybe right underneath her shirt line it would be a little darker. Pick up a little bit more bright blue and right in the center here, give that more of a little pop. For her skin color, the mountain color, the, the lamb mask back there is kind of shining through now. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of white with a touch of orange in it and a touch of brown. And I'm just going to come right in here, come right over my edges and put a little bit of that in there. Now this is dry, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my flat brush and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of white. I made sure that my flat brush is relatively dry, so I wanna wipe it really well on my paper towel because I wanna do a dry brush technique over the wood. So let me actually make sure that this brush is pretty dry. Um, I'm wiping it a little bit more with my hand. You could just get another brush. So I'm going to pick up a little bit of this. And I'm just going to dry brush this on no water. I'm not going to get any water. I'm just going to put a little coat with white. If you get too much, go from underneath, lift, and you can move it around. Now I am going to get my brush wet now, just come in, I have too much here so I'm going to just take some of that away, maybe I'll move it here, and I'm just going to lightly go over some spots. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back and do some other fun things to it. So for you it'll be a second, for me it'll be a few minutes and I'll see you in a second. Okay so I'm going to come back in now and I'm going to do a little bit more layering of some colors. I, I want to come back in now and put a little pop of this brighter blue over top of the water here, come right into her, just 
just wipe that with my finger. Same thing over here. Come right into her. Doesn't matter if a little bit gets on her. And I think I want a little bit more color up in the sky. I think I'm going to add a little bit of this darker blue with some white right up towards the top. And I'll pick up some more white and I'm just using my flat brush now. Sorry, right, knock the camera. All right. Now let me just give this brush a rinse. Pick up a little bit more white so that I can blend this out a little bit more on the edges here. Come in, pick up a little bit of turquoise, stick right in here. And I think I'm going to get a little bit of purple on my brush. And back here, I'm just going to put a little bit more purple. she'll have a, a little bucket or something there to put her fish in, huh? So maybe I'll take my round brush and let's see, what color will her bucket be? Maybe she'll have a, a little pail and it'll be kind of like a gray pail. So I'm gonna get some black and white. And let's see, where does her pail wanna be? Maybe it wants to be over here. So I'm gonna start with a little smile paint here. Make this a little bit more darker because this is going to be the bottom of the pail. So we have a little smile there. And then we have a straight line and a straight line and another smile. And we'll connect these with parentheses and we'll do a little frown. So we have a smile, parenthesis, parenthesis, and a frown. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more white to my gray, make it a little bit lighter, and I'm gonna come in here and fill this in, and I'll come right to the edge, leaving a little bit of that outline there, but not completely. And I'm going to go in motion of the shape of the can. And on the inside, I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to add a little bit more black. And I'll fill that in 
like that. Now maybe we'll have a handle on it. So I'm going to grab a little bit of white with touch of black and we'll come right get a little bit more white on here I'm just touching very lightly so that I can take advantage of that point on the end of my brush the lighter that you push the skinnier your line will be Now if I wanted to put um, a couple little highlights here, the top of the bucket, I can just pick up a little bit of white and just put in a couple little spots. Now I can take a better look at this area and I think she needs a little bit more shadowing done especially right in here so I'm going to I picked up a little bit of black here and I'm using my blending brush now and I'm just gonna come in here put a little bit more shadowing right here And I'll blend it out, lightly pulling from the edge inwards. And I'll need to do the same thing on her arms. Get a little bit, touch more black. Spread it out a little bit on my plate. Just pull it out into her arms. I can put a little bit more detail in her hair too. I can use my blending brush for this. Maybe I'll put in some more pops of this brown, but just using strokes like this. And maybe now we'll minimize this little um, recessed area there. And we'll just pick up a little black and brown. Just make that a little bit less of an indent there. Maybe our little girl has um, some ribbons in her hair. They would be relatively easy to do with the brown brush. Maybe they'll match her outfit. I'm going to roll my brush in the purple. Maybe I'll pick up a little bit of this turquoise on it. And I'm just going to touch and push. Touch and push. And I think I'll bump up this purple in the center here again of her shirt. Maybe a little bit on her outer part of her arm. Just a little bit. I'm going to pick up a little bit more white now. Just come into her hair. Do a few more strokes here. Showing the direction of the hair. 
and I'm going to pick up some more brown. Do the same thing. And I'm going to get some more brown and white and add that to her hair. I think we're going to smooth over this area again. This time I'm going to add just a little touch of water to the white and just pull it to the side here and just smooth over this whole thing. Get a little more water, a little more white, and we're just going to take it across the whole thing. Now I want to take a look at what's going on here. I have a little edge there I want to clean up. So I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown. Extend that line out a little bit and just pull over. Add a little white. Back here in the water where I have this, I'm going to come back in now with some of the turquoise, two different colored turquoise. I'm touching my brush and touching it in this one, and I'm just going to come in and just get a little bit more color in here. And I'm going to put a little thin layer over that those white marks. Just to tone them down a little bit. Same thing with her fishing line. I'm going to run a little bit of white over it. Just to tone that down and get a little bit more black and brown and bump up her fishing pole. I could get a little fancy and put a couple little ringlets on here. Take a little bit of black, a little bit of white, make some gray, and just do a couple little circles, or even just one. that the fishing line is running up through. Let's just get a little bit more excitement happening here in our water. I'll take some of this green and throw that in.
Now, if I if I wanted to have uh, show that there's some kind of a light source where I put some lights and darks and have contrast would be relatively important. So let's say the sun is coming against her back, having all of this lit, her back would be lit. We can illuminate her a little bit. I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow. Just a touch. And I'm gonna get a touch of orange kind of make like a golden color. And I'll just run this over her hair. Maybe some of it would be on her back, on the top part of her back. top of the can would be illuminated a little bit. So maybe I'll put a pop of this golden color right there. I'm going to come in with my round brush and just bump up a shadow under here and under her. in here just in a few spots with the black not everywhere just in a few places I'm going to rinse my brush I'm using my flat brush and I'm just going to smooth that out just to make things a little bit more interesting. One final thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of this turquoise now, the um, Caribbean blue. I'm just gonna put a little few more pops of that in here. And I'm going to take my round brush, 
just a little bit of white. Come in, just put a few little ripples. Some of them will be small, some of them will be bigger, and have a little wiggle to them. further away will be so teeny tiny because they're far away. And a couple little more bumps at the ends of her hair. And maybe just a little bit more darkening with a little touch of black by her collar here. I give it a once over, see if there's anything that's sticking out to me. Um, I don't know about you, but I always feel like I could do more uh, to a painting. Um, like right here, I could bump up this uh, bucket handle just a little bit more right here. Let me rinse my brush really well and get just a little bit more white on there. And there we have our cute little girl fishing. It almost looks like she's leaning up on one, um, one side and getting ready to pull a fish in. Well, I hope you were inspired and encouraged to let the ideas that are in your head come out on canvas. I would encourage you to not focus on everything turning out perfectly just letting your ideas come out so they can have a place to live on canvas. Until next time, bye.